It seems like everybody is using children for political props in whatever type of agenda they're trying to push nowadays. Trump does it. Even beautiful babies were cruelly murdered in this very barbaric attack. Hillary does it. Hi, Madam Secretary. I'm Brennan and I'm 15 years old. At my school, body image is a really big issue for girls my age. Yeah, I know. I've seen your IMDb page. Obama does it. Where the hell are this kid's parents, by the way? I mean, I would never let one of my kids near Joe Biden. At least Jeff Sessions is a little smarter. The news does it. All of you. Because you can't survive it. It's not possible unless you're very, very lucky. And your kids die too. Even parents do it. Well, so Donald Trump thinks the wall is more important than kids' games and stuff. And it's even being used to push an invasion of Syria. This is my message. It is never too late. Save the people of Syria. My name is Bana. I'm seven years old. I am talking to the world now from East Aleppo. This is my last moment to either live or die. Holy shit. With a verified Twitter account, a seven-year-old from Syria speaking in perfect English, and also uh, posting gore. Can you post gore on Twitter? I guess you can. But this video is not about climate change. It's really about using children as political props. And does anyone really think that Banna here is actually the owner of this Twitter account? I mean, is she writing the tweets? Or is her mom just telling her what to say and putting it in video form and then typing up all the tweets herself for propaganda purposes? At least we're all sick of the starving African children. But the problem is, in, in so many of the uh, Western countries in particular, there is, I know it's, a, it's an often used phrase, uh, but donor fatigue. Uh, there are many who are questioning uh, the effectiveness, actually, of their donations to overseas efforts. And, and, and some people are, are asking for more focus to be put on conflict resolution, end the conflicts, and then there wouldn't be so much humanitarian need. There needs to be um, a proper level of international aid and funding for these kind of situations or we head towards catastrophe. And right now, um, in this region, we're in grave danger of going from a very, very dramatically serious situation already um, to one of catastrophic proportions in just a few months. You see, the problem is, even if you donate to one of these charities, how do you know your money isn't going to be spent on a $3 million wedding dress for Chelsea Clinton? Or even worse, if you keep sending money to Africa and it actually gets there, that just means more Africans the next time. It's also interesting what children actually make it to be pushed as props and propaganda pieces and which children don't. For example, the 11-year-old girl killed in Sweden? Yeah, she's not being splashed all over your TV screen 24-7. And then I thought, hey, you know how we're sending that entire carrier group towards North Korea? Well, the only way to avoid some kind of conflict for Kim Jong-un is if he gets a little Korean baby and puts that on the screen. But then I thought, ah, fuck it, they have like four computers in their entire country, so that would never work. Now, I know what some of you are actually saying to yourself, that I'm some kind of heartless bastard, and you're probably in the camp of... Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? Well, I have no idea why you're actually still watching this video, but in case that you are... You see, I realized something. The child actor slash political prop has been so overused that it's lost all its effectiveness. So instead of using that, I'm going to use something else which will actually pull at your heartstrings. I have a very important message to tell you. You see, my bitch, and it's okay for me to say that, it's not okay for you to say that, but she recently had puppies, and these puppies are going to die unless you like comment and subscribe to this channel you see if you don't do all three of those actions immediately then i'm going to send one of the puppies over to north korea to support the invasion one's going to be parachuting into syria another one's going to be visiting iraq one's going to go to stockholm sweden to one of their no no go zones another one's going to head out to venezuela to starve in their socialist hellhole 
And the last one's gonna stay with me, because I need one puppy in order to put into the propaganda machine in order to keep this scam going. By paying Adam's rent, even providing her furniture, Adam says it isn't enough. Somebody needs to pay for all my children and my and Gary, all our suffering, all our pain. Somebody needs to be held accountable and they need to pay. I'm sorry, lady, didn't you get the memo? Kids are out, puppies are in.